Hi and welcome. In the following video I'm going to show you the post settings for the Fiji 2 theme. And this will allow you to set up the global layout for the uh, blog. That means every time you create a new blog post, you'll get the same layout whenever you create it. And of course you just have to add your content. So to get there, you go to flow themes, posts, and then you'll have this how to video, which you're watching right now. Then you'll have the global layout. And this is gonna be the layout that all of your blog posts have. So the header, the title and the featured image, the content area, the share links, a divider, and then comments. Another divider, related items, so this will be related posts, and a footer placeholder. Uh, if you wanted to add any additional content blocks, you can go to the block section and add any additional blocks here as well. Things you might want to add could be uh, contact buttons or contact form to link through to, um, you know, to get in touch with you. Uh, you may also uh, want to include you know, FAQ blocks, featured links, um, or anything else that you believe is going to add value, even a little about you section or something like that. But something that really creates call to action down towards the bottom of this page, this related items is really good, uh, also great for internal linking, and that's why we have it there. Now, if you wanted to use a template, there's three template options available to you, type A, type B, and type C. And each of them will have different view types. So. Type-C, for example, has this full screen uh, option at the top here for the featured image. Uh, Type-B will have um, the just regular title, no uh, image. And then Type-A, of course, has the image with the uh, text over it, as you can see here. So if you, if you wanted to quickly change the one, you could go ahead, hit Apply Template, of course, hit OK. That will then uh, go to the Global Layout section and uh, replace all the blocks in here. Uh, item title two in this area and the other item title areas, you may want to also turn off the uh, categories and you may also want to turn off the dates. So if that's the case, come into this item title area, disable the date, and maybe you wanted to turn off the featured image, you can disable the featured image as well, or and set the height for that if you want to keep it and set a fixed height, and disable the categories. Just a little trick there for you and one that's useful and that's often asked. You can also set the featured image height for mobile. 300 pixels is, is a good option. Between 250 to 300 pixels should be more than enough for your uh, mobile devices. And finally, we have a miscellaneous tab. Here you can set the, uh, the view for the uh, single post layout. And the different layouts will be full width, with the right sidebar, with left sidebar. If you choose an alternative option, you can update the posts and it will change all of the posts. Uh, if you uh, don't change that and you just set it like this and hit update, then it will, um, of course, just uh, apply to the future posts. It won't actually make any uh, updates to those. You can also en enable the option for auto-set featured image, and this will use the first image inside the post. You can also choose the option to have responsive images uh, for devices, and that's a great option uh, if you want to have uh, smaller image sizes for your mobiles and it will help it load faster. And you can also set the distance between the post images. So the distance between each image inside the blog post, it's currently set to 10 pixels. You can increase that or decrease that to suit your own needs. And that's the post settings area, folks. It will apply to a global level. So it applies to all the posts and whenever you make some updates and changes here, unless of course you set a custom layout or view type for a single post, which you can also do so there you have it, folks. That's the post settings area with flow themes.